Hi. Good day. I'm Ken. I'm Malaysian. And today, I have a, I have a new thought, right? Um, right. You know that it is easy to have to say uh, one cell have a two, and then the other cell got seven, and then the other cell got seven, uh, got seven right? And you can just use a sum to add up all uh, all the value in a different cell, and provided that it is uh, numbers, and you can just get for thirteen. But today we discuss something really interesting. So for example, one cell B five right contains uh, A B C two four seven. So how can you add just two four seven into this cell? Show that result into this cell which is thirty. So um, if you want to do manually, of course you can right. Just put that equal to uh, plus four plus seven. Oh, uh, that's what you do manually. But if you just change the value here, right, then you won't, you won't change, right? So today, um, I'm going to show you the just tips about uh when we learn the function and formula six right here. That equals um uh, the way to extract to to break this text string into uh, different parts is to use a make and on the text value uh, sorry pressing wrong key right just lock this cell and then uh, we're going to use a row to actually uh, say want to break this into uh, six characters so just put that as uh, one two six um, again highlight this and press F4 right so we're going to have six right but you can adjust these parts if you have more in fact, you can just uh, do a counting here as well. Uh, uh, we're not going to talk that. Now, just for one, right? This formula itself will actually break this text into six parts. Each of them is the characters. Now, we're going to each times one to get that, to change those string, uh, those characters. For example, A times one, still A, so it's still a text but when it comes to two times one it will turn the text into a uh, numbers then we use a function called its number uh, to check all these six different uh, characters one by one and we we'll use an if function as well we we'll use the if functions Um, yeah, we're going to use the if functions. So the if functions will test uh, all of that is its numbers, right? It will take that positions, and if it's not, we just give return a zero. Okay. After you have a, a another list, right, which is only remains with two four seven, which in the appear as a text, we want us again to convert it into a uh, into the numbers then we use a sum to sum them up then we use a control shift enter CSE formula and guess what we got that numbers right here so this is a full uh, text that you want to use of It's pretty down, right? So, um, you can just come for enroll my classes or uh, send me an email uh, log to to get my videos, right? For Malaysians, right? obviously I'm a Malaysian. Ah, uh, well, in case you you are curious, right? Let's just do one more, right? So, um, just make on this text. Uh, start numbers or well, since that if you want to start one and or uh, you need to take one characters you get an A but we're not going to use uh, that well instead we want to use a row now this row I will also explain in my function and formulas in details whereas for now we just use uh, 9 now, why is 9 if my characters have 
uh, nine characters, this will be useful. Uh, I can use a ten as well if my uh, the contains of this cell has ten characters. This is a very handy function where it breaks down the text into a uh, uh, number of characters individually, and then we do a checking on one of the uh, each one by one on each of the characters. So let's just do a me, and then uh, what's the next thing we do is that we actually want to convert those uh, characters parts in it by times one. Then we use the is number. Well, of course, it is very hard for you to understand at this point, right? but if you go for my uh, function formulas series, right, you, I will guide you step by step. Well, what's the rows and what's the each numbers and so on. Um, now we have an each number. We will find out a list of uh, num a list of uh, character which is a number. Then we have to extract just those numbers. We use the if functions to do that. Uh, and the if function has three parts. I'm gonna if, I'm gonna put it there, I'm gonna do this. We will have this and we will put uh, But if there is, if a, if a character is really a text, right, then we just return to zero. And then times one. Uh, again, right, this is to extract if those characters, which is uh, numbers, 3 times 1, and then add this, all those characters, which is text, again, to a sum. And then Control shift enter we got 21. Again, exactly clear. So if you want more of these Excel tips, or uh, you want to buy my video, just send me a message. Or come uh, enroll my corporate trainings or public tra uh, public trainings. Uh, uh, do visit my website, Malaysia Favorites Microsoft Excel Tips, and I'm Ken. I hope you learn something and help you in your work. Thank you.